Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is July 24th and I just got back from work and I felt really inspired on finally setting up my paper journal for the month of August. I went for the classical vintage theme as well but in a different concept or design. Honestly, I like how my paper journal turned out even if it took me I think two days to set this baby up. But gladly, it turned out pretty good for my opinion and I've already shown it to other people and I feel like they were honest with me when they said that it looked really nice. So to get started, for my cover page, I went for a confident looking lady in rose pink off the shoulder gown with tiny flowers braided in her hair. I didn't have a, sp a specific lady in mind when I was creating this drawing but for some reason people are saying that she looks a little like Mulan. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. At first, I was going for a simpler look for my cover page, just this lady and the, well, the month, the month of August calligraphy at the bottom left, but if you guys already know me, simple is not in my vocabulary. I felt something is still missing and so to add in character, I cut out a page from an old magazine. <laughs> but I won't really get into explaining this since I feel like I've already done it for the past few months and you already, you already get the gist of it. I thought that the ripped pages would really add in the vintage effect but if I could remake this, I feel like I would go for a recycled paper bag instead just to make it look more old school, I guess. I also painted in the drawings using my Koi watercolor or actually I use my Prang watercolor that I have I've had since college and if you want to if you guys want to purchase something like this, I I think it can be bought in at any national bookstore. For the next page, this is a whole new setup for me since for my monthly spread, I went for a vertical list layout. The calendar layout didn't really help me with my general planning so hopefully this setup would. I find it easier to create and I enjoyed making the collage page at the left. Instead of using a rip page from a magazine, I also got this page from our daily newspaper. So I just simply crumpled it more to again add texture to the page. And taking the printout images that I got online, I just simply stuck it on top. For my habit tracker, I went for the tiny calendar layout and writing in the word habit tracker, what I had in mind is to make it similar with the lettering from a storybook.
Similar with the ones that I've already been doing early on, I added in another collage page. Hopefully you guys are not yet over this because I've just been loving layering out these images for some reason. That's been my thing to add in a collage page. And that's pretty much it for this monthly spread. I hope you guys like it. And again, if you do, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite spread is. And please do click on the red subscribe button. Again, thank you guys for watching. Bye!